Picking the wrong business partner could be like cancer. It can definitely kill you. So you want to be smart about it and you want to take your time. Absolutely. It's definitely the life or death of your, of your business. It's like a marriage. You, you're stuck with this person until you either dissolve the business or you guys retire. So you want to make sure it's a perfect fit. Absolutely. And there, there's things that we're going to talk about today that will help you. So we wrote down a couple of things. And the first thing that came to both of our minds when we were making this list was... Conflict resolution. How are we going to deal with each other when the temperatures turn up and conflict arises? So that's the first thing you might want to focus on is if you can't solve a conflict between your business partner or the person that you're going to get into business with now, that's a big... Uh, it's going to be harder once you're once right. you're going and and this can look like a variety of different things this can be when you're first getting started talking about negotiating of percentages of the business this could be what type of clientele you want to serve this mm -hmm. could be what part of town you want to be located in um do you want to start off with staff or no staff you know it could be a wide variety of things right and i think people when they get into this business they they feel like money's going to fall from the sky and clients are going to fall from the sky and that's definitely not true no <laughs> it's not true there's marketing that goes with it and it takes a lot of work 